Hello everybody, and today we're going to talk about Rolly again, but uh, something a little bit different. So let's dig into what Rolly has been doing and what are my appreciations of this machine actually. So far, it's been, like I said in my previous video, my favorite laser to work. I have to say, they put a special attention in some things as easy as alignment. Uh, you have a real corner that is a zero, and it's about zero, and a couple other stuff. But today, I want to show you something super cool. Because, as many of you know, I make jigs, and I have plenty of jigs for anyone that needs pretty much anything. And one of the things that some people ask me all the time is on how I can align my jigs on my Rolly laser. How can I align my jigs into my X2 laser? So the way these alignments work are quite simple, super easy. And let me show you first with the honeycomb how you align your jig in place uh, with the Rolly. And then we're going to talk about something that Rolly sent me. Um, Leo sent me this part. Uh, I make one of these for other machines. And we're going to take a look of Rolly version of this. So I'm not going to jump into the program because literally in Rolly, one of the benefits you have when you buy this machine is whatever you do on the bed is literally what you have on Liburn. So. Once you set it here, you set the same thing on the computer and you're ready to go. So let's look into this. Okay, we have here the laser right now. Uh, it has power. I just not going to use it right now because it's super simple. This explanation is really, really simple. So I'm gonna lift there. I have my jig here. And you will notice with Rolly that you have all the numbers across your honeycomb. So depending how you work, I work on metrics, so centimeters in this case. Uh, that's how you set everything on your light burn, and you should be good to go. So meaning that if you put this jig on the base like this, flash on your honeycomb, and you set it like it's right now on 16 centimeters, that's 160 millimeters from zero to the edge of your jig is 160 millimeters or 16 centimeters. With that being said, when you get one of my jigs, you have a SVG file. You just need to open the SVG file that is the same size of the whole jig, set it in the same position on your rolly, and you're good to go. If you don't wanna try to do numbers, you can set it right in the corner, which is zero on your rolly, and the same happens on your software. So at that point, you can put one, two, three, four jigs all together or cover the whole bed to make your job easier. It's as simple as that. But let's see what Rolly sent me. And this is the part that I'm more excited about. So let's take this guy out. And let's say the honeycomb. So, as you can remember on my first video, and I will put the link on the video below, I mentioned the honeycomb that has a couple holes on the top and the corners, and this aligned with a couple pins on the machine. Let me show you one thing because we all know fiber lasers and how easy they are to use with jigs, fixtures all across. So Rolly laser has this fixture here. That is basically a fixture like a fiber laser or even some CNC machines. So this is going to help you to position everything in place. So let's put the jig plate here in place. You have the little holes that help you to align this properly. And there it is. So now you have a fixture for all your jigs and all your materials. And this is mostly for engraving, not for cutting. So one thing that you will notice here is they have a Y and a Z axis. 
So they provide you with these little guys. And there is one that is different of the other ones. One has a little mark in here. That mark is for the notch where it goes with this. You'll see here underneath it has a little hole. So you place this like so. And then you place the other one like so. And now you have a corner in zero. This corner here will allow you to grab a fixture like this one and put it in place with no time. If you need to do something different, you will put it in place in no time. Now, here is where everything became amazing with Raleigh. And this is something that Leo works really hard and I'm really grateful for companies like Raleigh. They send you a manual when you have the coordinates basically telling you where everything is once you set it. And in your original manual from the machine, when they talk about this, you have the distance of the, on the holes. That being said, you can set more stuff in your jig and make your own jigs and, and things like that. So this is really nice. Once you have this, you can set pretty much everything you want. It's super simple, super easy. Now, this is with Raleigh. Raleigh make these ones for their machines. Uh, you have a big machine, you can probably fit this. It won't align the same way that aligns in Raleigh. Raleigh use a couple stops like this one here. So everything aligns in place correctly. You can visit our website and check the jig table that we have compatible for any laser at 200 by 200 that will allow you to do the same thing on X2 or tour atom stack you name it so Rolly is taking care of things that most companies don't care there was a new release on the product where they have the base to make a little case under so you know that the base of this laser can be removed, so you can raise the, ba the base of the laser. You can put taller objects. In, in this case, they did the same thing, and they add the pins for the rotary. With that being said, if your machine is higher, you need to do something on the rotary that is bigger. They have a base that aligns perfectly in the center and aligns your rotary again, and you don't need to try to guess they're taking all the guesswork out. They're making laser life a lot easier. And overall, uh, the quality in the construction of their machines is still there. It's not like you are buying a machine that promised aluminum and metal, and they send you some metal and some aluminum. This is all aluminum construction. It's a really sturdy machine. It will work perfectly for you. And if you are like me, that do mostly engraving, they supply with this table, this jig table, they supply plenty of these little angles that you can put across your whole table. Super easy. You have a little snap there and there is a hole with the screws that also they provide the screws for this. So you just need to set your machine up and start lasering in no time. You are ready to go in no time. So that's perfect. I love this. I use a fiber laser a lot and this is the best way to work for engraving. For cutting, remember, you need to have a good airflow on the bottom. So it's still recommended to use your honeycomb provided by Rolly, it came with the machine, to avoid flares. Therefore, no fires. So, there you have it. Rolly Laser has a working table for engraving a fixture table. It's made completely of aluminum, CNC, with all the holes and everything that you need to put everything together and be working with fixtures and jigs that I made, you made, anyone. So if you like what you see, please like the video, subscribe, that helps us to grow the channel and keep making videos like this. 
and reviewing machines. And as always, fire the laser.